do not know the privilege of being a mother, there is power in creation. To shape a life, turn it toward happiness or despair. Her children were to be ours, raised to hunt and slay Saren's enemies. Have you faced an Asari commando unit before? Few humans have. We don't have to fight. You can return to the Citadel with us. I think not.
unstoppable. My mind is filled with his light. Everything is clear. Start talking, Benizia. What's Saren's next move? I will not betray him. You will... You... You must listen. Saren still whispers in my mind. I can fight his compulsions briefly, but the indoctrination is strong. Are you saying he brainwashed you? People are not themselves around Saren. You come to idolize him, worship him. You would do anything for him. The key is Sovereign, his flagship. It is a dreadnought of incredible size, and its power is extraordinary. Sovereign's not like other ships. Where did it come from? I cannot say. The Geth did not build it. Its technology is far more advanced than that of any known species. The longer you stay aboard, the more Saren's will seems correct. You sit at his feet and smile as his words pour into you. It is subtle at first. I thought I was strong enough to resist. Instead, I became a willing tool, eager to serve. He sent me here to find the location of the Mew Relay. Its position was lost thousands of years ago. Can I assume you found the coordinates? Two thousand years ago, the Rachni inhabited that region of our galaxy. They discovered the relay. The Rachni can share memories across generations. Queens inherit the knowledge of their mothers. I took the location of the relay from the Queen's mind. I was not gentle. You can still make it right. Give me the information. I was not myself, but I should have been stronger. I transcribed the data to an OSD. Take it, please. Knowing the Relay's location isn't enough. We need to know where to go from there. Saren wouldn't tell me his destination. But you must find out quickly. I transmitted the coordinates to him before you arrived. You have to stop me. I... I can't. His teeth are at my ear. Fingers on my spine. You sh... you should... Oh, you should... Die. Stop him, Shepard. Hold on. We've got Medigel. Maybe we can... No. He is still in my mind. I am not entirely myself. I never will be again. No light. They always said there would be a... <sighs>
this one serves as our voice. We cannot sing. Not in these low spaces. Your musics are colorless. Musics? What? Your way of communicating is strange, flat. It does not color the air. When we speak, one moves all. This is going to be a fun conversation. We are the mother. We sing for those left behind. The children you thought silenced. We are Rachni. How are you speaking through her? Our kind sing through touchings of thought. We pluck the strings, and the other understands. She is weak to urging. She has colors we have no names for. But she is ending. Her music is bittersweet. It is beautiful. The children we birthed were stolen from us before they could learn to sing. They are lost to silence. End their suffering. They cannot be saved. They will only cause harm as they are. I don't understand. Why are your children killing people? These needlemen. They stole our eggs from us. They sought to turn our children into beasts of war. Claws with no songs of their own. Our elders are comfortable with silence. Children know only fear if no one sings to them. Fear has shattered their minds. Makes sense. A baby left alone in a closet until he's 16 won't be sane. If you're sure they can't be saved. It is lamentable, but necessary. Do what you must. Before you deal with our children, we stand before you. What will you sing? Will you release us? Are we to fade away once more? There are acid tanks rigged up on that thing. Set them off. Millions of my ancestors died to put these things down. Don't let them come back. If you kill her, you consign an entire race to death. We should let the Citadel Council decide her fate. Your companions hear the truth. You have the power to free us or return our people to the silence of memory. If I let you live, would you attack other races again? No. We... I... do not know what happened in the war. We only heard discordance, songs the color of oily shadows. We would seek a hidden place to teach our children harmony. If they understand, perhaps we would return. Are you a survivor from the war? A clone? We do not know. We were only an egg, hearing Mother cry in our dreams. A tone from space hushed one voice after another. It forced the singers to resonate with its own sour yellow note. Then we awoke in this place, the last echo of those who came out from the singing planet. The sky is silent. I won't destroy your entire race. You'll go free. Are you stupid? Your people didn't fight these bastards. So maybe you don't get it. Are we any better if we kill them all? Do what you want. My people will clean up this mess later, just like we did for the Solarians. You will give us the chance to compose anew? We will remember. We will sing of your forgiveness to our children. Great. Bugs are writing songs about you. Mark my words, you'll regret this.
Centurions don't like the cold, Shepard. Did I? Are you here to secure the situation? How are you holding up? You must listen to me. If we do not contain our mistake, they will drop bombs from the battle stations. You understand? You let these things out? Uh, I am only following the orders. Binary Helix found an egg. It was on a derelict ship, thousands of years drifting. This was Ragnar's ship. Inside, they find many eggs in cryogenic suspension. A thousand-year-old egg hatched? Yes. Very tough to be so long frozen. That it survived the centuries. This is miraculous. Binary Helix planned to clone Ragnai. Mass produce them. Create an army. But when they get here, they find this egg is not a common Ragnai. It is a queen. After she lays eggs, they move her to Rift Station. They are thinking that without her, they can raise the babies to be obedient. Hold on. Don't you need a male to get eggs? Queens are born carrying the genetic code of their fathers. Eggs are carried away from the colony to hatch alone. Queens can lay eggs in hours and have a colony in days. This is how they spread so quickly. Separating them from their mother didn't work. Uh, this was exactly the wrong thing to do. I am thinking that without a queen, Rachni do not develop properly. Her mind is shaping theirs. These Rachni are uncontrollable. Then all we need to do is bring her here. No, I am sorry, but this will not work. These Rachni are beyond saving. It is a sad thing, but... They must be euthanized. I am thinking that the Neutron Purge must be set off. I'm not familiar with the Purge system. It creates bursts of Neutron radiation. Kills everything within the station. Things beyond get genetic damage of varying degree. Once the Purge is armed, we'll have to fight our way out. Give us a minute to patch up and rearm. Sure, sure. I wait here. 
I am not so much good for searching now, yes? <laughs> Mother always say I would meet a bad end. I have full access to the facility and am at your disposal. I need information on the Neutron Purge. The Neutron Purge is a failsafe system installed within the isolation tube area. In the event of irretrievable containment loss, it is used to resolve the situation. What exactly does this thing do? The Purge is a neutron burst weapon. Two volumes of fissionable materials are brought together to form a critical mass. Most of the energy is released in the form of high-speed neutrons. This radiation is instantly lethal to any known form of life within 500 meters. Nah, just a pleasant afternoon in the sun for a Krogan. The Purge is lethal to all known forms of... Shut up. Last thing I need is some virtual wench questioning my fitness. Activate the Neutron Purge. I'm sorry, but I can't do that without proper code authorization. Who would have the code? Director of Operations, Yaroslav Tartakovsky, or any executive officer of Binary Helix. We're moving on. Logging you out, Commander. I am feeling not so well. How do we set off the purge? Arming controls are nearby. All you do is insert the key. Then I will give Mira destruct. Uh, uh. Moving on. Logging you out, Commander. Online. How We're can moving I... on. Logging you out, Commander. Online. How can I help you? Activate the Neutron Purge. I'm sorry, but I can't do that without proper code authorization. Code input. 875-020-079. Code Omega. Local execution. Verified. Code Omega execution in 120 seconds.
What's our next move, Commander? The Mew Relay could link to dozens of systems. Unless we know exactly where Saren's going, we'd just be wasting our time. The Commander's right. We can't rush off blind. We need more to go on. What about Liara Tassoni? The, the Matriarch's daughter. Isn't she some kind of expert on the Protheans? Yeah, right. Her mother was working for Saren. I bet she is, too. But Nezia helped us in the end. Maybe Liara will, too. At the very least, we should head for the Artemis Tau Cluster to find her. Who put you in charge? Did the Commander resign when I wasn't looking? We're all on the same team here, Williams. She's just trying to help. Sorry, Commander. This is a tough mission. We're all on edge. Everyone go get some rest. Crew, dismissed. Novaria report is away, Commander. You want me to patch it through to the Council? Patch him through, Joker. Setting up the link now, Commander. Is this report accurate, Commander? You found Rachni on Novaria? And then release the Queen. Do you have any idea what you've done? How many generations until they overrun the galaxy? This queen is different. She understands why her kind had to be wiped out last time around. I hope you're right, Shepard. Our children's children will pay the price if you're not. We'll be waiting for your next report, Commander. <laughs>